Hey, in this video, I'm going to take a look at this product called Tidio today. TidioChat.com. We're going to go to the website. I'm going to install their widget. We're going to take a look on the onboarding, the inside of it, everything. So stay tuned. I'm pretty impressed with this product. I think you're going to like it. Hey, this is David with Tech Smart Boss back with another video. I'm going to take a look at this uh, product called uh, Tadio, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Website tadiochat.com. And it struck my attention, came across my desk. I took a look at it. I like the concept of it, I like what they're doing here. One thing that caught me right away live chat plus chatbots. And if you've been listening to the podcast, I've been talking a lot about chatbots recently and live chat. In fact, Episode 107 was just about should you have live chat or chat bots on your website. This is a combination of them both. And if done right, that is the best approach because there's different use cases for, for that. And I cover that in the podcast. So be sure to listen to that. I like their style. You can't beat their price. Their price to get started is free, as you can see here. Now, they get they got that euro sign. You know how I feel about that. I want to see a dollar sign. That's very easy personalization to do, guys. So you can set your website up for that. But look at that. Three operators for a life for free. But now, there's a little bit of small print there. And then add what you need. So this is a forever free plan that includes these items. But if you scroll down, you'll see that some of their value added features like you know, live typing, live visitor list, view pages are a little bit more. I'm not quite sure why people charge extra for live typing, but a lot of these chat tools do that. Uh, it is very useful, if, if especially if you're a slow typer when you're chatting with people. Automation, you can kind of see here. This is where a lot of the chat bot aspect comes in, where you can automate some things, even doing the proactive chat, what they call say hello. And you can see the price here uh, is based on number of unique users on your site so i'm not sure if there's a little bit more in terms of per uh agent cost or not but integrations some of the main basic ones you'll see here uh you know I, under crm they've got hubspot integration which we talk a lot about on this channel uh, i used to actually use capsule so kind of nice to see that listed there and a couple other one of the big ones help desk you'll see help scout we talk about that a lot as a recommended product as well as Zendesk. So I say let's try it out and let's go through their onboarding. I've got everything kind of set up so I can pop it on my site quick if we get to that point in this video. So let's go ahead. I'm going to put in my tech smart boss email address here and password. And I'll put in the uh, www.techsmartboss.com as my website. I would always recommend you read these, which most people don't, for the video. I'm just going to click it and go ahead and create. They, they might be selling your data. You don't know what they're doing until you read the terms and conditions and the privacy policies. And that's where, as they say, the devil is in the details. All right. We're right there. Let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and um, well, I'm not going to do that now. I don't like those notifications. But look at this. All right. It's popping me into a nice onboarding sequence, which I like. That's a sign of a mature product. They even got their own chat bot here offering me some help. So you can kind of see there they call them Titus and they got a couple prefill. Let's go ahead and play with this for a second. Let's say I, I want to install this product. All right, so you'll see the kind of the concept here. You've seen this concept on other videos where the buttons kind of, the answers are kind of button oriented. And then we've got some links and some text. I'm just going to say hello and see what happens in this. Looks like I got to make sure I check off their privacy and GDPR types of things. Uh, okay, so it just gave me some more stuff it could do. So... That's a that's an indication there. Let's go ahead and set up. Let's set my name up. David F. I always do that. I won't worry about changing my avatar for now. Let's mess around with the color. All right. So I can't. Uh, can I do a hex code? Yeah, I can do a hex code. Let's do my favorite. Zero zero five F A C. There we go. Multilingual. All right. That's kind of obvious. Let's go next. Website. Uh, this is just probably for their own boarding. I'm just going to put education on that. Not really education, but that's what I selected. Now, how do I want to engage visitors when they enter the site for the first time? So this is good. It looks like they're going to do some pre-setup in terms of their bots. 
Uh, would you like to look a close look? Would you like us to call you? How, you know, I just want to greet them warmly. That's kind of my style. Just what can I do to help you today? How would you like to engage when they enter? All right. Hello. Okay, so I could change the message there. I'm not going to change it for the video, but that's nice. I'll be like, you know, hello, is it me you're looking for? Some of you will get that joke, but if you're not a Lionel Richie fan, you probably won't. All right, now let's go ahead and put this code on. Simply put it on uh, Lord. Okay, so this is pretty simple code. That's uh, not not a lot of code at all right there. Uh, what I'm going to do is pop over. I'm just going to add this in my Google Tag Manager, which won't explicitly be in the body, but that's okay, I suspect. So let's just go ahead and just do a little custom HTML tag in Google Tag Manager. I don't need that part of it. And I'm not 100% sure I copied everything appropriately. Let's see. Yeah, I guess it is just one line. All right, that's super simple. And let's pop this on all my pages there. Save. Hit a submit. And publish. All right, that's how easy it is to put this type of stuff on um, your website with Google Tag Manager. I'm sure they have a WordPress plugin and some other things as well. Let's go ahead and refresh our page. See if anything is popping up on the site yet. There it is. I didn't have that there. There is the product. Let's click it, see what happens. Look at that. Hi there, welcome to our website. We reply immediately, powered by. There's the avatar I didn't put in. So pretty simple installation. Let's go ahead and continue and get into the product. Oh, I felt like I've already done this. So why did it... Uh, reset me there I'm not quite sure but now I'm into the product now one of the things that I particularly liked about the screenshots on the web is the interface this is a this is this looks like I'm in you know space command central here I like the darkness I like the the the, the preview pane the pane here I like the icons it gives me a little bit of a slackish like I'm in slack a little bit so that's nice this is one of the things this is a good style sheet and I can kind of see that they're going to give me some metadata on the visitors. Uh, I can even ask the visitor for an opinion. I, I like that. There's some built-in functionality there. Let's go back here. Hit the Home tab. So it's on my website. I can integrate with Facebook Messenger. That's that's nice. I got a desktop app. I like that. Pretty sure they got a mobile app. There it is, the mobile app. So this is a clear desktop. I'm not going to click anything yet. Integrate with the email. Now, I like this so that you can start to have your own company name there. And I wonder if that is part of the free or not, which would be really interesting and nice if that is the case. So I, I, I really like that. So it looks like there's multiple channels here. You've got your live chat. You've got your getting started section. That's where I was playing with the hello. You've got some backgrounds you can add. Mobile widget, you can change it on the mobile. You've got your pre-chat survey. What exactly is a pre-chat survey? Okay, so that's where I can, you know, ask some questions, introduce yourself, ask them for their name, and there's that GDPR compliance that we saw before. That's a that's a nice feature. Multilingual, of course, we saw in that. Let's take a look. Uh, different styles here. Let's enable the sidebar. So this is a little sidebar widget. If you want to put that on your page instead, and let's see what they've got. All right. Messenger, I'm not going to connect to my Facebook, but you've got that. You've got mailboxes, and you've got uh, chat on site, which is where you can put in your logo and, and things like that. So that that's a nice set of channel settings. Uh, what else we got in here? All right, let's get into the automation. Now, one of the things on their website, Mark Messaging, they talked about is they have some pre-built automations for you to help you. And that, that reminds me a lot of Drift. That was one of Drift's big things that they call playbooks. So they seem to be doing some things like that with a lead generation bot. They give kind of, I like, you know, this this is a well-designed, well-thought-out product. So, you know, I, I'm really liking what I see here. Let's see if I can expand and see some more. Uh, when a visitor leaves a form, interesting. So they didn't fill out their form. You can hit them with a little message there. That's uh, powerful. I had to check that out a little bit more. What else we got here? Uh, discounts for new visitors. So you're seeing a little bit of combination. We're using pop-ups and 
tools like Convertful for these types of things, but now you can really put some intelligence uh, into your, your chat bot. And of course, you can create one from scratch. Before I go into that create one from scratch, let me just click and see what happens if I click on one of these. So it's just going to give me the preview of that, and I can add it. I want to go, you know me, I like to dive right into create my own. Let's see, see if they have a visual workflow here. The website showed a picture of one. So let's see, trigger-based. All right, so what can we do? We can base it on the conversation, the button that they clicked, if they do something like that on certain days. So this is a, this is looking like a pretty good trigger-based workflow here. First visit, mouse leaves a window, opens a specific page, form a new event. I like this. This is good. Uh, well, I'm going to do this certain days. You don't see that one very much. Let's say every Monday we want to do something. All right, there it is. Now, that's triggers. Let's see what our conditions and actions are. Actions, I could send a message, send an email, delay. I, I like this. I like this. You know, I always like to send a little Zapier right away and let me know that somebody is on my chat. So I've got the Zapier integration right there. I won't go ahead and fill that out. And then I want to pop them, send a chat message to them. And I'm sure I'll just connect the dots there. Boom. Oh. There it is. Connect the dot. And then I can fill out my chat message and I can add more chat messages and images. Very nice, very nice interface. These guys know how to design. I'm not, well, let's just do a little quick test. There it is. It shows the message. Uh, I can notify an operator. So that's where that live human takeover can come into effect. Very popular. And I could do that notify an operator, of course, based on some conditions. Maybe I want to look and see if they are on a particular URL. I could do that and if they are let's go ahead and break this link link it up there and I'm sure I could do probably a, a yes no type of uh, scenario on that. Or actually this looks like not a yes no but it'll just continue down the path. Oh there it is. Yeah. Boom. There it is. So I like this. This is intuitive. This is easy. This is pretty cool. I could play with this for days, but let's go ahead and see what else we got. So, uh, yes, I do want to. I don't want to save that mess I just did. So let's start a chat, and let's go back over here and type a little something. Hello, I'm looking for someone. I'm gonna beat this joke to death today. All right, and then what do I have over here? There he is. Hello, I'm looking for someone. Is it me you're looking for? And there it is. All right. So chat functionality right there. I'm not going to, I mean, I've, I've already spent a lot of time in this product because I have been impressed. I didn't even get into here. And I mean, look at all these integrations we talked about. Uh, I didn't even see Zapier in the list, but now we know it's there. I got some quick responses, save responses. I've got some event tracking now. I think I saw where that was one of the paid things. So that's the only question that I have at this point. I got to dig in deeper and see what's paid and what's not paid. But if you're a small organization, three users is quite um, generous, assuming that a lot of these chat bots and automation come included in that. So, hey, check out this product. Pretty neat. If you like these types of videos, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put out one per week every Sunday. And check out our website, techsmartboss.com, for all the other things that we're doing. Talk to you next time.